Check out my 2017 Comenzo Meta V4.2 Race Eagle. Man, that's a mouthful. All right, starting at the top, we got Ergon G1 Slim Grips on Renthal Fat Bar with a 10 millimeter rise and they're 780 wide. Uh, 50 millimeter ride alpha stem. Got Garmin Edge 500 on a K Edge uh, top cap mount. It's nice, I like it, keeps it right in view but out of the way. Um, SRAM Guide RS brakes. 200 mil rotor up front. 180 millimeter rotor out back. RockShox Reverb Stealth. Second dropper on here. The first one I got was uh, defective, right? The bike out of the box defective. Uh, specialized power saddle, 143 width. I uh, love the seat, have it on my road bike, super comfortable. actually like it on the enduro bike because obviously enduro races you're pedaling for some transfers and when you do have it down the, the nose is super short so you don't get it hung up on the under side of your shorts. Tires, I'm running Maxxis Minion DHF 2.5 wide trail um, and Aggressor 2.3. They're both, let's see, another mouthful. 3C max grip, tubeless ready, double down casing. RockShock Lyric 170 up front. Uh, RCT3, we got three volume spacers, 55 PSI, and three clicks of low speed compression. RockShock Super Deluxe RC3, 155 PSI and one extra volume spacer than what came with the bike. And the tires are on uh, Mavic 427 wheels with a 27 millimeter internal width. Crank Brothers Mallet E, long spindle with a washer. Uh, I run the long spindle with the washer so I don't get heel strikes on the seat stay because it's super wide on this bike. Uh, the washer and the long spindle kind of alleviates that problem. Specialized side load water bottle cage with a little stubby specialized bottle. Gives me clearance underneath the, the reservoir here. And also, it'll allow me to run a, a SWAT tool. SRAM Eagle, this big honking 50 tooth. We're running it with uh, 34 up front. I love it. I actually feel like it made me a little lazy. Uh, the 50 tooth is like a severely huge bailout gear and I find that I shift down to it so much. Did I forget anything? Oh, this little guy. Helps keep the crap out of the, uh, the fork crown up here. And I-9 rear hub. Uh, the one that came on it just didn't have the engagement I was looking for. And it sounds sweet. Angry bees. I love the bike. I sold my downhill bike to get it. It's uh, it's great. It's done everything I can do. I've done two enduro races on it, ridden bike parks, or ridden it. Pedals really well for a long travel bike. It pedals very well. I'm surprised with it. Yeah, I think that's it. If you guys like the video or have any questions about my bike, leave them down in the comments. I'll try to answer them. I try to answer every comment. Um, if you want to see some other videos of enduro races that I've done or just random trail rides, um, check out my channel. Subscription would be sweet. Give me a thumbs up and keep shredding. Peace.